Hey everybody and welcome to episode 182 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, April 23rd, 2014. Ricky, we passed the milestone this week. Puberty? Pretty much. Uh -huh. Pretty much. No, Ricky, we passed the 1 million views threshold for our channel. Our little channel based out of this uh, small and humble comic shop located in Brampton, Ontario, Canada. The little channel that could. The little channel that could. Did you ever think when you, uh, you know, because when we started Unboxing mm -hmm. Wednesdays, you weren't working no. here at Stadium. But I know that you were watching <laughs> as an adoring fan. Uh, yeah. And uh, did you ever think back then, watching that first episode, that, uh, you know, this store's channel would reach a million mm -hmm. People's well, eyes. A million set of mm -hmm. eyes. Well, you guys had that sweet up shot camera angle. Right. So I think it was just a matter of time before like someone wore some shorts and you know, got a little that's upskirt. True. That, and that then happened on uh, Flavorful Reviews. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. Now, what percentage of Flavorful Reviews do you think makes up those one million views yeah, on uh, our channel? I'm thinking like 45%. 45%. Yeah. All right. Well, last, <laughs> last time we checked, it was 0.45%. Whoa, seriously? Yeah. No. I, I, didn't, I didn't actually run any numbers, but I got to think it's pretty close to that. Thank you, everybody, from everyone who has been with us since the beginning. Uh, you guys know who you are. To those people who this may be their first episode. Hopefully what you see today uh, makes you want to subscribe become one of our subscribers and uh, and keep watching our show so that we can hit two million views uh, by sometime yeah. next week but yeah it's been a lot of fun and I and uh, from the bottom of our hearts you know thank thank you to each and every one of you guys out there uh, we really appreciate it and hopefully our program uh, you know is useful to you on Wednesday mornings before you head into your shop and on that note Ricky let's go ahead and open up some boxes while Ricky gets busy on some boxes back there, <laughs> he's on his phone. He's not even unboxing anything. Oh, Look, no. he's texting somebody right now. Uh, as Ricky gets busy with the boxes back there, I just want to let everybody know that uh, Free Comic Book Day, of course, is less than two weeks away. It's on Saturday, May 3rd, 2014. It is the most awesome day of the year. What is Free Comic Book Day, you might be asking? Well, it's a, uh, a day that the comic industry has set aside where you can walk into a comic shop and get free comics, no questions asked. Mind you, that doesn't mean you can just walk into a comic shop and start grabbing things off the shelf, no. Comics industry has set aside a certain amount of titles, I believe it's about 60 titles this year, that are designated free comic book day books. Your local retailer buys some of these books to have in their store for free comic book day and we give them away for free. It's our thanks to you for being interested in the comic industry. Uh, and it's a way for us to promote comics as a great uh, literary tool and artistic uh, medium for people of all ages, from kids to senior citizens. Stadium Comics is going to have one of the biggest events in North America right here at our store. Uh, and to learn more about it, go to stadiumcomics.com slash FCBD. Lots of great, talented, uh, creative guests that are going to be here as well, such as Ty Templeton, who's working on a Batman Green Hornet crossover right now with Kevin Smith. Uh, Alex Milne from Transformers, Adam Gorham, Jay Torres, Ricky Lima, Shane Heron, the list goes on and on. We're going to have over two dozen people here, uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So join us here if you can, and if you can't, check out your local comic shop on Saturday, May 3rd. I should also mention that we did a special unboxing earlier this week, which shows all of the free Comic Book Day books, and we've got a video coming up. Uh, a little near the end of this week that will show you all of the door crashers and special sales we'll be having for free comic book day. So you definitely want to check those out. Alright, first up we've got this awesome uh, Batman t-shirt. From Funko we have Biker Daryl. This is a previews exclusive which means it won't be available at mass market retailers. Uh, and it features bloodied and shaggy haired Daryl. We've got these Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. pint glasses. The latest in Mattel's Total Heroes line, Superman. Not sure how I feel about these figures. From Marvel, we have the Marvel Select Black Widow. From Square Enix and DC Comics, we have the Variant Play Arts Kai Flash figure. Marvel Legends Infinite Series uh, takes on Captain America. We've got some of the figures here. Here is Red Skull. The Build-A-Figure for this set is Mandroid. Here's another figure. The Captain America figure. The Winter Soldier, and Black Widow. 
I am really impressed by these new uh, Game of Thrones action figures from Funko. Some of you may be familiar with the Game of Thrones action figures that are already being put out by Dark Horse. Uh, this is a Legacy Collection, and, and yeah, by the same company that does the pop vinyl figures. And they are very much more articulate than the other figures, but they look fantastic, and they are priced at around $24.99 US. This is Jon Snow. And we have Tyrion Lannister and Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, also in this set will be the Hound, a White Walker, and Ned Stark, but I guess those are coming a little bit later. And we've also got Yu-Gi-Oh! Hero Clicks. These are single booster figures. Alright, moving on to the collected editions. First up we have Grim Fairy Tales, Volume 13 from Xenoscope. Daredevil by Mark Wade, Volume 5. Green Lantern, Volume 3 now in softcover. And we've got Green Lantern Volume 4, new in hardcover today. Okay, moving along, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Animated from IDW. The Ninja Turtles Ongoing Book reaches issue 33. We've got these two regular covers. And this variant. Transformers Robots in Disguise reaches issue 28. Here is the variant cover for that book. Star Trek issue 32. Protectors Inc. number 6 from Image Comics. Soulfire issue 4. The Saviors issue 4. Mass Effect Issue 10, Dead Body Road Number 5, Sheltered Number 8. From Xenoscope we have Helsing Issue Number 1, Powers Bureau Number 9, Sovereign Issue Number 2, Letter 44 Number 6, Danger Girl Number 1, The Seventh Sword Number 1, new today from IDW. Not only is 24 coming back to TV, but it's coming back to comics. Here's 24 Underground Issue Number 1, Written by Ed Brisson. Ghosted, issue number 9. Lazarus, number 8. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season 10, number 2. The Bunker, number 3. Halo Escalation, number 5. We've got Uber, issue number 11. Star Wars Legacy, number 14. Manhattan Projects, number 20. Ash and the Army of Darkness, number 6. Thief of Thieves, issue number 20. Robotech Voltron, issue number 3. Dead Boy Detectives, number 5. Bravest Warriors 19, Conan the Avenger number 1, we've got a third printing of Walking Dead issue number 117, and new in stores today, Walking Dead issue number 126. Okay, moving on to DC Comics. Uh, before we get to this week's books, I want to talk to you about the Bombshells covers, which will be on uh, their way to store shelves in June 2014. And those are going to feature some awesome pinup style bombshell covers designed by Aunt Lucia, uh, the inspiration behind the bombshells line of DC collectible statues. Uh, there's going to be about 21 books in all. You can get uh, all 21 of them in a special bombshells collector pack that we have available right now on our web store at store.stadiumcomics.com. Check out that website for more information on how to order your bombshells pack order deadline for that package is uh, the first week of May so you definitely want to check it out before it's too late. We've got Teen Titans Go issue number three, Larflees number 10, Jonah Hex number 30, Catwoman number 30, Justice League Dark number 30, Teen Titans number 30. I believe this is the final issue before they go on to the next volume of Teen Titans. Here's Red Lanterns number 30, Superman issue 30 which is a prelude to Superman Doomed. I think now would be the appropriate time to make a very cool announcement as we know this Superman Doomed event is coming up and it's all going to kick off with the one shot called Doomed appropriately and it's going to be illustrated by uh, Ken Lashley who is a great friend to Stadium Comics and uh, to celebrate the release of this book we're going to have Ken Lashley here on Saturday May 10th that's just a few days after the book is released on Wednesday May 7th I believe. Ken will be here at the store on the 10th of May to sign copies of uh, Doomed Issue 1 and to sketch for a few lucky people. So we're really looking forward to having Ken back at the store. It's going to be an awesome book, I think, Doomed Number 1, and uh, can't wait. Here is the Mad Magazine variant for Superman Number 30, Aquaman Number 30, Flash Number 30, Batman Eternal Issue Number 3. Batman Superman issue number 9. Here's the Batman Superman Robot Chicken variant cover. Uh, this release was held over from uh, March. It was supposed to come out in March originally, which is why you see the Robot Chicken cover. One of the first comics I ever bought as a child was a Secret Origins comic. 
Uh, used to see them quite a bit in the 80s and 90s. And uh, here they are again. They're back. Secret Origins. The stories behind the world's greatest heroes. This issue focuses on Superman, Robin, and Supergirl. And here is the variant for Secret Origins number one. And finally, this is one that uh, all of us in Canada have been excited about for some time. It's Justice League United, issue number zero. The first story arc called Justice League Canada. And this is part one of five of that storyline. The Justice League have had to uh, hightail it out of the country, I guess, and are here in the Great White North, only minutes from uh, Stadium Comics, I can assume. Let me tell you something, they've got my vote right now to make Stadium Comics the new Hall of Justice here in the, uh, in the Great White North, or the new Watchtower, if you will. Yes, why be headquartered up in space when you can be headquartered right here, sandwiched in between the health food store and the Cinnabon? Huh? Cinnabon? I think the choice is clear. It was just announced last week that issue one of Justice League United will feature a special Justice League Canada variant. So we're uh, looking forward to that as well. Here's the blank cover variant. And here is the variant featuring the new Kree superhero, Equinox, who is uh, joining Justice League United. Okay, moving on to Marvel. Some second prints to show you. Here is a second printing of All New X-Men number 23 and a second printing of Guardians of the Galaxy number 12. Miss Marvel number 2 gets a second printing, as does Superior Spider-Man issue number 30. Ultimate Spider-Man number 25, Empire of the Dead number 4, Avengers Undercover issue number 3, All New Invaders number 4, Daredevil issue number 2, here is the Daredevil Captain America variant, Thunderbolts number 25, what If Age of Ultron, issue number 4. Savage Wolverine, number 17. Dexter Down Under, number 3. Iron Patriot, number 2. Rumors that this uh, comic is already on the cancellation block after only one issue. This is issue 2 anyway, so pick it up. Superior Spider-Man Team-Up, number 12. Awesome cover here by Paulo Rivera. Fantastic Four, issue number 3. Guardians of the Galaxy, number 14, is a double-sized anniversary issue. That means it's a dollar more in price. It's a book I've really been looking forward to from Marvel. It's Electra issue number one. And the reason I've been looking forward to it is it's got the awesome Mike Del Mundo, who you may know from all of the awesome covers that he did for X-Men Legacy and all the covers he did for the Deadpool Kill series. Uh, he's doing the interiors on this, and they look fantastic. Check it out. Some of the best interior artwork you'll see in a comic book uh, right now. Uh, very unique style, obviously. And there's really nothing like it. Definitely pick this up if you can. Here's the Electra number one blank cover. And the Scotty Young cover. Original Sin issue number zero. Original Sin is slated to be the next big thing in the Marvel Universe. This is issue zero of eight, making it a nine issue series. Uh, this is written by Mark Wade and illustrated by Jim Chung. This book uh, focuses on the Watcher and who he's all about. And uh, he's got some great interaction in there between himself and Nova. Uh, so pick this up if you're uh, looking to get into the series. And here's the original Sin number zero variant cover. All right, now it is prize time. Your favorite time of the night and my favorite time of the night because I get to finally talk. <laughs> uh, so last week we asked you guys um, what Spider-Man was doing when he wasn't in his body. Once Doc Ock took over, what was he doing? Uh, we had some tons of hilarious answers. A lot of them including uh, Peter doing illicit drugs with, uh, with Uncle Ben in heaven. Hey, I don't make this stuff up. You guys do. Uh, but um, Mr. Um, Michael Kaufman said he was trying to explain to Gwen why he snapped her neck. And then he also says, uh, I don't need the comic. Just say what I said is enough. Well, there you go, Mr. Michael Kaufman. I said your comment. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Michael Lafette said Peter moved all the way to England so that he could watch The Amazing Spider-Man 2 early and get some tips for when he returns. Damn you British people in your early movies. Mmm, hope it was good. Let us know in the comments if you saw Amazing Spider-Man number 2 and what you thought of it. Hopefully it was good. Um, Mr. Nick V, which uh, bears a striking resemblance to Nick Verissimo, one of my friends from Flavorful Reviews, could it be the same person? He says Peter Parker was training with Patrick Swayze to make pottery and learn his ghost powers for Ghost 2 Web of Life. 
Yeah, Ghost 2, Web of Life. That's amazing. I'd watch that movie. Playing an Unchained Melody in the background. Fantastic. Um, but the winner goes to Jason Barreto, who said, Peter Parker was training Karate Kid style to break free from the Doctor. He used his crane kick to become in control. Now he's bigger, better, faster, and stronger. Yeah, you know what? I picked this specifically because I knew Kevin would enjoy the Karate Kid reference. Kevin loves the hell out of Karate Kid. <laughs> what a gay. Um, also, newsflash, the Flash comics, he said uh, Peter Parker came back as Tom Hanks' pinky ring. It's an ompotoyo um um uh, spectacle. This guy, in our comments, comes up with the craziest words. I have no idea what this guy says half the time. This Flash Comics, let us know what you're talking about. I even Googled it, and nothing came up. But anyways, congratulations, Mr. Jason Barreto. If you head on over to stadiumcomics.com slash prizes, you can find out how you can send your information to us. This week, we're giving out a copy of Justice League United because we are Canadian, and we figure you need to learn a little bit more about our culture, our rich, diverse culture that features... Uh, Dudes with fingers for heads. Do you see that? What's going on there? <laughs> I have no idea. What we need to know from you is, uh, what kind of superpowers would a Canadian superhero have? Does he throw uh, maple syrup at people? Perhaps he could turn into a beaver and, uh, and eat wood. I don't know. Maybe he could produce coffee uh, from Tim Hortons from his veins. Man, who knows? I don't know. Uh, let us know in the comments what a Canadian superhero, what kind of powers he would have. And the winner could win a copy of Justice League United number one. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Ricky, were you texting again there? Maybe. Just can't get this guy to put his phone down. Just taking selfies 24-7, man. Yeah. Well, let's take a selfie right now. Take with, a selfie right now. With you guys. Take with, a with selfie everybody. with everybody watching Unboxing Wednesdays. See, that'll go up hashtag, in the video. Hashtag selfie. <laughs> Be sure to check out all the other awesome videos on our channel. Uh, we posted a free comic book day unboxing video this week. And we've also got the free comic book day door crashers and sale items going up a little later this week. Check that out. Also check out previews reviews, our monthly look at all the coming attractions in comics and pop culture merchandise. Be sure to listen to our friend Louie's recap podcast. He'll get you all caught up on all the current storylines going on in comics. You can connect with us using any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. And we'll see you all next time for episode 183 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everyone, and enjoy your comics this week.